and welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the following question which says, The price of a washing machine is $1000 cash or it may be paid for by 5 equal monthly installments of $220 each. The first installment to be paid one month after purchase, find the rate of interest charged. Before moving on to the solution, let's discuss the formula to be used for equated time of payment. Consider P1, P2, P3 and so on be the different payments due after D1, D2, D3 and so on days respectively counted from the zero date. So now the equated time of payment which is denoted by D is equal to P1 D1 plus P2 D2 plus P3 D3 plus and so on and this whole upon P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus and so on that is summation PD upon summation P. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. In the question we are given the price of the washing machine that it may be paid for 5 equal monthly installments of $220 each and the first installment is paid one month after the purchase so we have to find the rate of interest charged. First of all we assume let the date of purchase of the washing machine be the zero date. Now we have made three columns of the payments of the number of months and P multiplied by D. Now since it's given in the question that each installment is of $220 and 5 equal monthly installments are made. So here first we write $220 and the number of months that is D is 1 in this case that is $220 are due after 1 month and in this case P multiplied by D is $220. Now again next installment is also $220 and here D, that is number of months, would be 2 and P multiplied by D would be 440. The next installment is also for 220. Then D would be 3 and here it would be 660. Next again 220. Then D would be 4 and here we would have 880. Then the last installment is also 220 and B is 5 and here we have 1100. Now summation P is equal to 1100 and summation PD is equal to 3300. Now from the key idea we know that equated time of payment which is capital D is equal to summation PD upon summation P. So now we have equated time of payment that is capital D is equal to 
समिशन पी डी अपॉन समिशन पी और यू कैन से थर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड अपॉन इलेवन हंड्रेड इलेवन थ्री टाइम्स इज थर्टी थ्री सो दिस इज इक्वल टू थ्री मंथ्स दैट इज कैपिटल डी इज इक्वल टू थ्री मंथ्स Now we know that the average due date is obtained by adding the equated time that is capital D to the zero date. Therefore, we say that the average due date is three months after the. Date of purchase. Since we know that the zero date is the date of purchase of the washing machine. Now let's we find out the total interest is equal to submission P minus the cost of the. Washing machine. We know that submission P is eleven hundred dollars. So we get this is equal to eleven hundred dollars minus the cost of the washing machine, which is thousand dollars. And so this is equal to hundred dollars. That is the total interest is equal to hundred dollars. Therefore, we can say that interest on thousand dollars is equal to hundred dollars for three months. And to find out the rate of interest charge, we will find out the interest on Hundred dollars, and this would be equal to hundred upon thousand into hundred. Now we would convert three months into years, and so we would multiply this by twelve upon three. Since three months is equal to three upon twelve years. And this is for one year. So these two zero cancels with these two zero. This zero cancels with this zero. And three four times is twelve. So four into ten is forty. So this is equal to forty percent per annum. Thus. The rate of interest charged is equal to forty percent per annum. So this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.